my name is the paper panda and I'm back with another video in today's video I am going to be using the summoner auto rifle I was able to get this during trials of Osiris this weekend and it is a 600 round per minute auto it does have random rolls mine came with rampage dynamic sway reduction alloy magazine light mag corkscrew rifling and hammer forged rifling with a handling masterwork I've also thrown on a counterbalance stock to make sure that it is as stable as possible this is what it looks like without any ornaments on it or uh, I'm sorry any shaders on it and if you do go flawless the uh, the eye of Osiris right here will light up just a fun fact there for you we are going to be taking it into the crucible just to showcase what it can do and just to answer the the question will it beat hard light the answer is no um, I feel like hard light is still a stronger weapon because hard lights range it just uh, because there's there was little ricochet rounds and its exotic perk it's able to maintain its damage at ridiculous distances this uh, this gun will have damage fall off but I've played some games with it and it's a fun gun to use it's reliable and if you are landing your crit shots with it it tends to melt people down very quickly especially with rampage mm -hmm. So uh, let's go ahead and load into a game and see what we can do with it. Also, we're going to be using a Dust Rock Blue shotgun and a Ward Cliff coil on an Arc Strider Hunter. Okay, Supremacy on Legion's Gulch. Legion's Gulch. Let's go. Throw the grenade back out. Gonna get some tags on him. Oh, oh. He just took the lead. Punch that warlock. There you we go. Hopefully we can just get this and get him down. Going to jump up. We got a guy coming in behind us. So much glory, so little time. There we go. Oh, that guy's so weak. Guy's using hard light though. Oh, yeah, we gotta get out. Huh. That was interesting. Buddy, I know you were AFK. Supreme. 
diplomacy is all about getting those crests back and not letting your opponents have them. We are doing an amazing job right now of just don't want to die here. Pushed him back a little bit. <laughs> Very floaty. Oh. Wow. Do have our super now. So hopefully we can secure a few kills with it. We're gonna pop in front of this guy. The thing I like about this super is you can use it to block. Which lets you get close enough. That guy's gonna be a big problem. Yep. Anyway, the uh, the whirlwind guard on the arc strider, it can reflect supers back at your enemies and kill them. So it's a good way to bait out opponent supers and then shut them down. Shut the enemy down. Oh, I thought that was my teammate, Warden's Law. Oh, last word. Supremacy plays so shotgun oriented. Wow, yep, they're all spawning right there. here see if we can find someone there's a wood cliff coil that just killed someone Guy's connection is really bad. There we go. You're breaking them. There you go. Just doing a great job of team firing. You have my respect, Hunter. They're coming across the bridge now. Hopefully we can. What there we go. Stop you if you fight together? Nothing. Wow, he got destroyed. There we go, get that pick on him. Good. Your allies know you have their back. But look at that. I mean and, and that was against a Randy's throwing knife. And we still traded. He got shots on me too. It's definitely a fun gun. It looks really good too, which is nice. There's not a lot of guns in this game that are aesthetically pleasing so it's kind of nice that this one is. We're gonna pop our super now. That fusion rifle guy tried. You gotta give him the respect for that. There's no one else. It's too bad. Wait. Ran out just as we were right there. It's alright though. Still doing well. So the way I do my, I suppose, review videos, um, I don't do a bunch of 
a bunch of filler and a bunch of gimmicky things. I'm just gonna record a uh, record some gameplay. And if you guys like that gameplay, then go ahead and uh, and subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me if um, you know this is not really your format. I just don't believe in doing a bunch of crazy cut editing and other gimmicky things and hyping up something that doesn't need to be hyped up as much. I'm not going to tell you a gun is overpowered or crazy if it's not. I think this gun's very consistent and I enjoy using it quite a bit. Anyway, if you guys would like to, I would love it if you would subscribe. I am a small YouTube channel, just trying to uh, grow right now. So um, yeah, any support you have to offer, I would really appreciate it.